how to paint this mistletoe Christmas card with watercolors on your own step by step. Hello, my name is Adelheid and I'm a trained art teacher. Watercolor painting is my passion. I like to make videos that help you to enjoy watercolor painting and that support you on your watercolor artist journey. Let's start with the supplies for this tutorial. I use watercolors from Hansel, then pearl sand colors from Fine Tech, two brushes, size 10 and size 4 I think. Watercolor paper from Fabriano, 200 grams, a calligraphy pen with a pointed nib and some ink. I also used a black pen, a ruler and a pencil. The first thing I do is I make the card. I fold the paper in half. With my thumbnail I go over the fold. I want the mistletoe to start right off the top like a mistletoe hanging from the ceiling. This mistletoe branch will nearly fill the whole space. Later we will also add some text and some gold frame too. I mix sap green, bamboo green, cerulean blue, I don't know if I pronounce it correct, Chinese white and indigo. I use the bigger brush and I paint here right at the beginning of the paper a straight line. Then I go to the right side, here I leave some space and then I go to the left side and again I leave some space. At the end of the branch I paint here a little dot. I go back to the dot, I place the tip of my brush exactly on the dot, I drag the brush and I press the brush on the paper and so I can create this mistletoe leaf shape. Now I work on the next branch. Here I make the branch a little bit thicker. I add dots on the end of the branches. I always make sure that I leave some space between the branches. And here I start with the next leaf. You can see how I press the brush on the paper and then I lift the tip of the brush and I correct the shape of the leaf and I go on with the next one. I mix bamboo green, Chinese white, a little bit of indigo. Here I work on the second branch. You can see that I leave some space. For the mistletoe leaves I use the new green mix. Now I turn over the paper. Um, I have a question for you that is off topic but it's related to Christmas cards. I live in Austria and we have the tradition of writing Christmas cards too but it is not that, that big as it is in the English speaking countries. My question is, how many cards do you write or do you send in the Christmas season or during the Christmas season? And I'm really curious about that. But the one thing that is really big in Austria is the Krampus and the Christkind. Please let me know in the comments section below. I think this year I only wrote two or three Christmas cards and I received less. Now I mix the color for the mistletoe berries. The color is kind of a white tone with a bluish undertone or kind of grayish. I paint two circles or up to three in each space between the branches. I try to work out or to define the two berries. My husband always complains that I pronounce the word two always wrong and I recognized that this is one of the words that I can't pronounce. I add Chinese white to the green mix and you can see that the color has changed and it is a warmer and lighter green tone. I'm layering the colors and this only works because the green stem or the green branch underneath has completely dried. Here I add another branch. I paint this little dot and then I paint two smaller leaves. I add a branch in the background here with the lighter green tone. Again I leave some space and then I go on with the branch and the leaves. With a green line I connect the branch that I painted before. Starting here I add the last branch. Okay. 
I go back to the darker green and I make the stem here a little bit thicker. I just dip the brush on the wet color and it really blends perfectly. Here and there I make some small corrections with the darker green tone or I add another leaf between the two leaves. I paint one small berry with the greenish white color mix. I use a little of ivory black and Van Dyke brown and I paint two to three small dots between the two leaves. And now it's time for some red. I paint two strokes and I paint a bow or a ribbon. Isn't that the same? I make a C-shaped stroke and I press the brush on the paper and all I do is I connect two C-shaped strokes. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. It's totally free. And please click the notification bell too. I use Van Dyke Brown and I paint one dot on each berry. For the frame I use a big ruler and I draw four lines around the mistletoe branch. And here I draw another line about two centimeters from the frame line. Now it's time to add some text. Here I write Mary. I go over the letters a second time. For the next word I use a calligraphy pen and some ink. Today I mix two different fonts. I ran out of black ink so I tried this sepia color. As with the first word I go over this a second time. Now let's paint the frame. I use the color hazelnut. I mix a really thick paste and then I use the small paintbrush. I try to create a line with one stroke as long as possible. Then I reload my brush and I go on painting. I sometimes have to reload my brush and to fill in this stroke because I really want a very bright and intensive hazelnut color. Between the two words Merry and Christmas I draw small stars and I fill them in with the hazelnut color. We are nearly done and I hope you like this video how to paint this mistletoe Christmas card in watercolors and I hope that it was helpful for you and that you had a good time. Please let me know in the comment section below. Sorry for that son. The upcoming video will be a Christmas tag compilation. And please don't forget to check out my other Christmas or winter related videos. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to watch the videos.